This movie tells a story about a composer who suffers writer's block and suddenly rediscovers his passion after an adventurous one-night stand. This black comedy is clunky and unfunny. The humor is often too shallow to be funny, but also too knowing to be dismissed. This movie is at great pains to be both wacky and satirical, but lacking the irreverence to be one and the bite to be the other. Its humor proves rather unadventurous and lacks any of the absurdist humor it's angling for. Its take on the pretensions of the theater world also lacks punch or even the sense of farcical acceleration that it's aiming for. There are competing plot points that sloppily edit it into an overarching narrative with so little grace that it often feels like watching three separate movies. It has no idea how to keep the proceedings cutting and flowing with momentum and storytelling purpose. The balance is entirely missing, making for a movie in which the tone is inconsistent, the elements all feel a little off, and the ensemble never quite merge as a cohesive group of characters belonging in the same universe. It feels consistently disjointed as it never settles on a sensible tone. The movie is using nervous breakdowns as a plot device to justify women's illogical behavior like in the character of Patricia and Katrina with minimal result. It's conveying so little genuine feeling that the stakes for any of the characters never feel terribly high. The characters are monotonous and underdeveloped and the movie rarely succeeds in making them likable or compelling. Most of the characters are neither so ridiculous nor so tragic to be either laugh aloud funny or convincingly dramatic. The story only gets unintentionally hilarious the longer it goes on and connects the threads. When dealing explicitly with issues of class, race, immigration, and gender, the script throws comedy out of the window in favor of sincerity that borders on patronizing. Overall, this movie is such a disappointment. We do not recommend this movie at all.